video board.
Everyone, and welcome to the Molly Family Athletic and Intramural Complex, home of York University of Tampa Spartans. Tonight, the Spartans welcome the Florida Tech Panthers. Tonight is our salute to service game dedicated to the first responders and military service members of our community. We thank you for everything you've done and continue to do every day. Here are this evening's starting lineups. First for the Panthers, number three, Cooper Leonard. Number five, Nate Planky. Number six, J.P. Pachukian. Number 26, Connor Young. Number 33, Gavin Wessel. Number 34, Zach Rosgandhi. Number 37, Jax Francisco. Number 39, Elliot Yaku. Number 66, Colin Stewart. And number 93, Sam Bob. For your Spartans, number four, Blake Ulmer. Number five, Daniel Fitzpatrick. Number six, AJ Pascarella. Number 37, Kenyon Birch. Number 11, Trajan Cannon. Number 14, Braden Williams. Number 15, Harry Kilkowski. Number 17, Hunter Turner. Number 25, Thomas Griffin. And number 36, Gunnar Gillen. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise for the presentation of the colors by our sponsor battalion, led by Cadet Nichol. And we ask that you remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Tonight, the Star Spangled Banner will be performed by Cadet Modica. Yeah. 
Junior Preston, Preston Jones was involved in a catastrophic car accident after returning home from the team's game on Monday night. He was rushed to the ICU with a last rated spleen, broken ribs, multiple facial fractures, and bleeding around his brain. He's responsive. He isn't speaking, but he can squeeze his parents' hands and move his toes. Brain swelling hasn't gotten any worse, which is the best news for now. The family is asking for the collective prayers of the tight lip knit lacrosse community during this tragedy. Please keep Preston and his family in your prayer. The Tampa Bay lacrosse community is praying for Preston and his family and wishes for a speedy recovery. by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Using obscene gestures, profanity, racial sexist on du unduly provocative language or action toward officials, opponents, spectators, or administrators will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the premises. The use of artificial noise, mirrors, and alcohol products are not permitted. Smoking is permitted along the fence areas outside the stadium. Thank you and enjoy tonight's game. Good evening and welcome to the Nimoli Family Athletic and Intramural Complex on the grounds of the University of Tampa campus this evening. The Tampa Spartans playing host to their rival Florida Tech as we are set for the opening faceoff. I'm Bruce Warzniak here to call the action for you this evening. The Spartans wearing all white going right to left in this opening quarter and they have the game's opening possession. Florida Tech you see in Black shorts, black jerseys, and black helmets. And their starting goaltender is Jax Francisco. And he will be tested early as Fitzpatrick brings it in. And hold on, an early whistle, 32 seconds in. And that's going to be a turnover. Five and four, the one lost record for Florida Tech. Spartans come in at eight and two. Personnel changes being made early as it's UT ball. Harry Kilkowski from the far side. Hold on. The officials stopping the play again. And the official on the far side of the field over to talk to the scorer's table. Spartans coming in with a bad taste in their mouth. They lost 12-6 to this past Saturday. A game up in Winter Park. Number 13, Rollins, put a stop to what at the time was a four-game Spartan winning streak. Interestingly, UT started the season with four straight victories and then lost. And then that next four-game winning streak that has been followed by a loss. So by that pattern, you would say it's their turn to win. But as the saying goes, that's why they play the games. Florida Tech, Tampa Spartans, these two teams know each other all too well. Sunshine State Conference rivals. And a great crowd on hand this evening 
for this Sunshine State Conference matchup. And a beautiful Wednesday evening here in Tampa. Our game time temperature is 86 degrees. And the official's done conferring. And let's see if they're set to resume. Indeed they are. And Harry Kilkowski for UT will put the ball in play from the far side of the field. And let's throw a flag on the broadcast or a false start because the official needed to go back over to the scores table one more time. And now he's finished with that conversation, has a quick word with Florida Tech head coach Brad MacArthur, who I know from many, many years ago, our days together in the National Lacrosse League, the Pro Indoor Lacrosse League. Play resumes now, and Fitzpatrick with it for UT. Daniel Fitzpatrick gets a step on the defender, carries on and sends it in behind the Panthers' net. Kilkowski behind the net. And now up top to Owen Miller. Miller across the line. Pass to Fitzpatrick. Has a shooting lane. Passes up top to Miller instead. Owen Miller, a little burst of speed. Now fires a shot, and that went off of a Florida Tech player. And the Spartans maintain possession. In front, they score! Daniel Fitzpatrick, the Spartans draw first blood, 87 seconds into the game, and here's the replay. Harry Kilkowski gets the assist, and Daniel Fitzpatrick has goal number 20 on the season. And a face-off violation there. Possession to the Spartans. Owen Miller starts it up across the line. Miller has some room, walks in and deflected and out of play as the Panthers were caught off guard there. And Miller was happy to take advantage of it. Fitzpatrick, who just got the goal, comes in, takes a shot. Spartans get that one before it goes out of play. Miller, a pass over. And nice moves, and there's a shot. They score! Canyon Birch. And UT quickly goes up 2 to nothing. Goal is unassisted. And here comes UT looking for more. McEnany a behind the back pass missed. And now the Panthers with their first offensive opportunity of the game. Blake Ulmer, the starting goaltender for the Spartans, as always. Jacob Turpak with a pass over. They work it around. And tough defense by the Spartans. There's an errant pass. And that'll be turned over. Here goes McEnany. Pass that's mishandled 
by A.J. Pascarella. And a bunch of them battle for the loose ball on the far side. And still neither team able to possess. And do the Spartans get it? No, it's still loose. Comes all the way back. And up ahead it goes. Pass in front. And it goes right to the goaltender, Francisco. And he wants to settle things down for Florida Tech. Here come the Spartans back the other way. Here's Charlie Bolesh. Bolesh wants to shoot. Now he does. And a save made by Francisco. And the Panthers sprint back the other way across the Tampa line. Shot coming. Scores! Brett Nostos with the goal, unassisted, and Florida Tech gets on the scoreboard 418 into the first quarter. Faceoff at midfield, one by Hunter Turner for the Spartans. And don't let the one lost records fool you. Tampa is eight and two, and Florida Tech is five and four. This is a conference game, so the overall one lost records, for all intents and purposes, go out the window. When these two teams get together, we have seen this rivalry build and build over the years, and tonight will just be the next installment in that story as UT. Kilkowski sends a pass over. Birch has a shot and a save made there by Francisco as Canyon Birch was trying to get his second goal of the game. Up top, Fitzpatrick takes a shot. That one goes out of play. Fitzpatrick has the other UT goal. And from the corner comes Harry Kilkowski. A Panthers player goes down behind the net. Scores! Harry Kilkowski picks the top corner. And the Spartans have their two-goal lead restored. 5.32 into the game. And here's the replay. And Kilkowski spins and beats Francisco for an unassisted goal as Hunter Turner out there to take this face off for UT against Jack Maranto possession to the Spartans once again Here's Charlie Bolish on the run. McEnany fires it behind the net. Kilkowski to the other side it goes. And up top now, Ronan Sanchez. This is Nick Papa over for Sanchez. Sanchez absorbed a stick that came up high. Play carries on. Bolish with pass. Nifty move by McEnany and the pass mishandled by Kilkowski. Now he gets control. Kilkowski. There's a pass up top. Oh, Papa wanted to shoot from way out. And a loose ball. And there's one that's going to go out of play. And the official right there, possession stays with UT. Kilkowski deep behind the Panthers net. 22 on the shot clock for the Spartans. Kukowski, a nifty little move, comes back out, scores! Back-to-back -back goals for Harry Kilkowski. 
And the Spartans out to a 4-1 lead. And here's the replay as we are not even at the halfway point of the first quarter. And that goal is unassisted. Harry Kilkowski with 19 goals on the season now. Panthers. Rosgoni. And it goes in behind the Spartans net. Some personnel changes made there by the Panthers as they take it down the far side and down behind the Spartans net. Colin Stewart leaves the pass. Coming out front, there's a shot that will go out of play off the stick of Jacob Turpak. Possession stays with the Panthers. And Luke Pollock puts it in play. Pollock and stick check. Fifteen on the shot clock for the Panthers, and they score. Razgani gets the goal and cuts it to a two-goal Spartans lead. And here's the replay, and you see the low underhanded shot by Razgani. And a face-off now at midfield. Hunter Turner comes up with that one. And flag thrown. You saw the stick come up in the face area of Turner. And so a penalty will be called against the Panthers once they touch the ball. Up top it goes for Owen Miller in the meantime. Miller sends it over. It's taken down in behind the Panthers net. Kilkowski with it now. Kilkowski has Tampa's third and fourth goals. This is Fitzpatrick with it. He has one of the four as well. Kilkowski tries to get past the defender. Pass in front, doesn't connect. And loose ball. And a collision, and the Panthers still have not possessed the ball for, for there to be a stoppage. And now, finally, we get a whistle with 5.55 to go in the first, and we'll get the penalty assessed here against Florida Tech. I'm Bruce Wozniak. Glad you could be with us on this Wednesday evening from Tampa. Barlada gets a one-minute slashing penalty. And here goes the Spartans, the game's first power play. Miller up top sends a pass back. And there's a shot coming off the stick of Canyon Birch that goes out of play. Up top, Miller, long shot, and that one out as well. And still 35 seconds on the shot clock, 33 on the penalty to the Panthers. Miller sends it over. Down low, good ball movement by the Spartans. McEnany bobbled that one. They battle for the loose ball. McEnany goes down and somehow comes up with the ball. Chased down by Canyon Birch. Ten seconds left in the penalty. 
Fitzpatrick, a pass, shot. Oh, great save there by Jax Francisco. And so Florida Tech kills off the penalty. And now they work to get it across midfield. Noah Stetcher. Down into the corner it goes. And Razgonyi sends it back over. Behind the Spartans net it goes. And that's to Planky. And away goes Turpak, his pass. Operating from the corner, Razgonyi, 10 seconds on the shot clock. And the Panthers, all kinds of pressure being put on to Planky and the Spartans cause a turnover. Back they go in transition. Quick passing. McEnany scores! And how do you like that? The Spartans cause a turnover. And here you see the work that results and it ending up in the back of the Panthers net. And a 5-2 to two Spartans lead. And they battle. Ball rolls out of the faceoff circle. And needless to say, a good number of Florida Tech fans here this evening. Great crowd watching inside the Namoli Family Athletic and Intramural Complex. Down and behind the Spartans net, Lozito. Colin Stewart. Scores! Wow, Zach Razgonyi. And the Panthers answer back. I was going to tell you that Luke McEnany's goal had been his 23rd of the season. And instead, it's a Another Zach Rosgunji goal as he has two of his th team's three goals. And it's the Panthers with the possession again. Down it goes into the near corner. To Planky. And now it goes up top. Lozito sends a pass over. Stewart moves it over to the other side. On the run, Vreeland. And Nikki Vreeland absorbs the check there from Jackson Day. Still has it. And up top it goes to Stewart. Over now for Lozito. A pair of 11s as he was checked by Trajan Cannon. Out in front, and Ulmer got a piece of that one. The ball rolls out of bounds, and the official on the back line signals possession for UT. Up ahead it goes for Day, and his pass over from the back line. That's Kilkowski up to McEnany. McEnany changes his mind, holds on, and now up top it goes for Sanchez. 
And taking it down the far side was Green. Bullish over for Sanchez. Sanchez tries to get around his check. A defender slides over to help. Kilkowski up top for Grant Green. Green trying to outrace the defender and the bounce pass kicked at by Sanchez and the Panthers will come out of the pack with it and up ahead it goes for Deplanke. Rosgonyi for Deplanke and back to Rosgonyi again. Thirty seconds left in the opening quarter. Florida Tech working for the last shot. Jacob Turpak looking at the clock. And ten seconds left now in the quarter. Pass for DePlanke. Stops and two defenders on him. And the Time is going to run out before the Panthers can get a shot away. And that will bring us to the end of a quick first quarter with the Spartans in the lead 5-3. to three. Back with the second quarter. Coming up on TampaSpartans.tv. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams, discover your talents, get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. set to start the second quarter. Spartans in the lead 5-3. to three. Shots on goal are 14-5 to five in favor of UT. And the Spartans have won 6 of 9 face-offs so far. And that one is taken by the Panthers. And so Florida Tech with the opening possession of the second quarter. Sent in behind the Spartans' net. And now up top. There's a pass into the corner. And the Panthers forced to work the perimeter here so far on this initial possession of the second quarter. Lozito. He goes down. And Lozito... Loses a stick. Trajan Cannon, credit him for the ultimate cause turnover. And Owen Miller shot out of play. Now they put it in from the far corner and right in front of the Spartan sideline. That's Daniel Fitzpatrick. Shoots and scores! Fitzpatrick fires it 
past Francisco for his second goal of the game. It's a three goal lead as Fitzpatrick gets his 21st goal of the season. And a violation, face off violation called there against Florida Tech. And so UT with another opportunity now as Owen Miller. Stops, leaves it back. Fitzpatrick on the move, cuts towards the net, scores! Daniel Fitzpatrick again. And the hat trick to make it a football like 7 to 3. And it comes 143 into the second quarter. Unassisted. Jack Maranto out there for the Panthers on this faceoff against Hunter Turner. And Maranto wins it cleanly. Panthers had trailed by two at the end of the first quarter and the Spartans have scored the first two of the second quarter just a couple minutes in. So trying to chip away at this four goal deficit. Sent over to Stetcher, Noah Stetcher and sends it up top, and the Panthers will try the other side of the field. And they run out of real estate and send it in behind the Spartans' net. Up top it goes for Stewart. And now DePlanky. Behind the net again. 14 on the shot clock. And there's a long shot taken by Luke Pollock that goes out. Still Panthers ball, but only nine on the shot clock now. They need to hurry as Roz Gagne sends a pass and swarming Spartan defense. The shot clock is going to expire and so turned over. Here comes the Spartans quickly the other way and knocked out of the stick of Pascarella. Owen Miller with it now. Canyon Birch. And behind the net it goes. Kilkowski dancing around near the end line. Now picks up speed. Kilkowski. A pass back over. Knocked down by the Panthers. Loose ball. And still not controlled by either team. Owen Miller comes in and scoops it up. Miller races behind the Panthers net. Miller stops. Shoots. And that one will go out of play. And that will stay with the Spartans. Canyon Birch. They reset up top. As Bomstad sent it over. And now Bomstad gets it back. Bomstad tried the underhand shot and it was broken up along the way and the Panthers take over. There's a long pass up ahead and off to the races. That was Brett Nostos leading the charge. Here's DePlanky. Up top it goes for Patrick Stewart. Vreeland. He'll send a pass down. Rosgonyi being watched over there by Brady Stoll. This is Griffin Martin for DePlanky. Back to Martin again. Owen Miller chases him. And they'll try it up top again. Stewart sends it over quickly. They work it to the other side of the field. Rosgagne and Brady Stoll all over him defensively. Behind the Spartans net it goes. 
20 on the shot clock for the Panthers. Griffin Martin behind the net, 14 on the shot clock. Comes out in front. Oh, the pass doesn't connect. And nine on the shot clock. And tough defense by Trajan Cannon. The Spartans cause a turnover. And again, the Panthers unable to get a shot on goal. Two consecutive possessions. And just getting a piece of Gunnar Geblin's attempt. Panthers temporarily halt the Spartans' attack, but UT still in possession as we're down to nine minutes and nine seconds before halftime. Into the corner it goes. Jackson Bashaw. He sends a pass over to the far side. Sanchez makes a move towards the net. Bashaw up top. Long shot coming and didn't get through. And Charlie Bullish with it for the Spartans. A pass over and a shot taken there by Bashaw that goes out of play. Plenty of time still on the shot clock for UT. 25 seconds to be exact. Sent behind the net now. Bashaw quick pass in front. Bounce shot scores! Canyon Birch. And it's a five-goal Spartan lead with 8.29 to go here in the second quarter. Second goal of the game for Canyon Birch. And Jackson Bashaw picks up the assist. Jack Maranto out there for the Panthers on this faceoff. And for the Spartans that time, it was Alex Poma. And one player from each team goes down on the far sideline right in front of the Spartans. Sideline. And now on the restart, here comes UT again. Fitzpatrick across the line. Little spin move and loses the ball along the way. And here come the Panthers. And a flag thrown. You saw Nick Kennedy go down for Florida Tech. And we're going to have a call here with 7.59 to go in the second quarter. A 30-second call against Daniel Fitzpatrick for a push. And so let's see if the Panthers can capitalize on this short power play. Turpak sends it. Deep behind the Spartans' net. This is DePlanky. And a long shot coming off the stick of Pollock. Goes out of play. 12 seconds left in the Tampa penalty. Here's DePlanky. Turpak sends it over. Back behind the Spartans' net again. And the penalty to Fitzpatrick expires. Shot coming from DePlanky, and that one goes out of play. Possession remains with Florida Tech. Stewart sends it to DePlanky. Pass in front, shot, and oh, Ulmer with the save, and another flag is thrown on the far side, and the clock stops. What, 7.12 to go. And the official on the far side of the field heading over to the scorer's table. As we're going to get another Tampa penalty here. Brad Leonard, a one-minute slashing penalty. And as the Spartans get penalized, they also decide 
to take a timeout. So we will do the same and be back with more on tampaspartans.tv. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student-athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student-athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student-athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after-school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. And we're back here at the Namoli Family Athletic and Intramural Complex on what has been a great Wednesday evening. Our temperature down to 82 degrees. And the Spartans with an 8-3 lead over the visiting Florida Tech Panthers as UT gets set to try to kill off the one-minute penalty that's been called against Brad Leonard. It's been salute to service night here in the stadium. See lots of servicemen and service women in the crowd. Wearing their military attire as the Panthers work the ball around looking for a shot against Blake Ulmer. Shots on goal are 12 to 4 in favor of UT thus far. And there's one that Ulmer stops. And do the Spartans get the rebound? Wow. Taken down. There's a loose ball behind the Tampa net. Picked up by the Panthers. And they're not able to get a shot away, but they are able to corral the loose... Ball in front, they score. Colin Stewart with the goal. And another violation. Panthers on the near side. And they take it in behind the Spartans' net. That's Vreeland back there. Vreeland and a second defender as they switch. And it's Patrick Stewart now. In behind the Spartans' net, knocked down. And the Panthers able to pick it back up. To Planky. Starts his move, comes out front, spins, and the... Defender Pascarella may have gotten a piece of that one, and it's turned over. Up top, Fitzpatrick stops, leaves it back, and Owen Miller will take it across the Panthers' line. Puts the shoulder down, now stops. 
And Miller wants to go one-on-one, -on -one, takes a shot, and a great save there by Francisco, although the Spartans get the rebound, and a result, a reset of the shot clock, of course. Bomstad goes in behind the Panthers' net. And a Spartans player goes down on the far side as play carries on. Kilkowski, a little dump pass. And back there to corral that with Canyon Birch. Now he backs up. Up top. Bombstad. Oh, great save there. Jax Francisco. Between the pipes for Florida Tech, keeping his team in this game. Although some sloppy play here. And hold on. A whistle stopping play. And the official right below us signaling possession for Florida Tech. And the crowd not happy about that one. As the Panthers come back the other way. And they score! I believe that's Nate DePlanke. And Jacob Turpak with the assist. Clean faceoff win by Hunter Turner. He brings it down himself. And two Panthers players hit the field. They pick themselves back up. And it's a Spartans possession with 3.18 left here in the second quarter. Good burst of speed there by Charlie Bolesh. Up top it goes for Ronan Sanchez. He sends a pass over. Good ball movement by UT here. And behind the net, that's Kilkowski. And here he changes hands. Burst to speed, steps out front, and opts for the pass up high. And this is Ronan Sanchez. Sanchez passes the goal and now sends it over to his teammate. Right in front, they score! Harry Kilkowski was left totally on alone in front and puts it in behind Jax Francisco. And it's a 9-5 Spartan lead, as you see the replay here. And look at Kilkowski wide open in front as Luke McEnany gets the assist. <laughs> 2 35 to go here in the first half. You see the Panthers controlling. Spartans average scoring exactly 16 goals per game and they're more than halfway there with two minutes still remaining in the first half. And the goaltender Almer brings it up across his own line and now some pressure on him and he'll send it over for Brady Stoll. Stole a long pass, connects with Owen Miller. Miller, a little skip move. Stops. Miller trying to fight off the check from Radun. And that's McEnany with it. 90 seconds to go before halftime. From the far side, a little juke step. Up top it goes. Owen Miller gets the pick, takes a shot, and that one goes out of play. Possession stays with UT. 69 seconds to go in the half, 24 on the shot clock. 
And on the far side of the field, Bomstad. Bomstad goes behind the net. Pass was intended for McEnany. Miss Fitzpatrick scores. Look what I found. And Daniel Fitzpatrick has his fourth goal of the game. And it's a 10 to 5 Spartans lead. An unassisted goal comes with just 53 seconds left in the half. Cooper Leonard out there to take this face off for the Panthers against Alex Poma. And Leonard is successful and gets it ahead. And his teammate Raz Gonyi on the far side of the field. Down behind the Spartans net it goes. And now over to DePlanky. And let's see if Florida Tech is going to take this all the way down to the final shot before halftime. There's 20 seconds left before the end of the second quarter. And they might as well have turned off the shot clock at this point. And a nice job there as Turpak went down and got back up. And the Spartans pick up the loose ball, and there will not be a last shot. The clock is going to expire. And there goes the horn to end the first half. So the Spartans go into the break with a 10-5 to lead. We'll be back with the third quarter following halftime right here on TampaSpartans.tv.
back live as we get set to start the third quarter of play. Spartans in the lead 10 to 5. Shots on goal to this point are 16 to 8 in favor of the home team. And the visitors have won 9 of the 17 faceoffs thus far. Blake Ulmer has 3 saves. Jax Francisco has 6. And the scoring has been overwhelmingly two Spartans players. Dana Fitzpatrick has four, and Harry Kilkowski has three. So 70% of the home team's goals from two different players. And for the Panthers, Zach Rosgonyi has two goals as the third quarter is now underway. Stetcher sends a pass over, and Rosgonyi sends it back up top to him. Noah Stetcher looking to go one-on-one -on -one here, and can't beat Trajan Cannon. Down towards the end line, the ball stays in, and the Panthers maintain possession. Quick passing, and that one goes up high out of play. I believe it was deflected. Shot taken by Colin Stewart. 46 seconds into the third quarter. And UT, as I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, trying to rebound from that defeat this past Saturday up in Winter Park when they lost 12-6 to against number 13 Rollins. You see a flag has been thrown. And as the Spartans touch it, we get the whistle for the stoppage in play. UT an eight and two overall, one lost record. And five and four, the mark for Florida Tech. So 106 into this third quarter. A one-minute slashing penalty has been called against UT's Trajan Cannon. Put into play by the Panthers, and they work it over to the far side of the field. Down behind the net it goes. Florida Tech on the power play. Pass in front, and not able to get the follow-through. Colin Stewart as the Spartans head back the other way. Jackson Day to McEnany and into the corner goes to Kilkowski. Kilkowski as there's 25 seconds left in the penalty to his teammate Cannon. And Kilkowski now with a pass for Jackson Day in the far corner. And now the Panthers decide to defend him as there's just five seconds left in the penalty to Cannon. And so the Spartans will successfully kill that off. And they're now back at full strength. And down to the field, a flag has been thrown. So a penalty coming up against Florida Tech as you saw Owen Miller go down on the far side of the field. In the meantime, this is Fitzpatrick with the ball on the far side. Fitzpatrick has a lane, and he's defended, takes a shot, and the stop made by Francisco, and the whistle goes to stop play. 2.32 into the third quarter, and the Spartans will get a power play here. Elliot Yaku, a one-minute slashing penalty for Florida Tech. Fitzpatrick sends it into the corner. UT working the perimeter here as Bashaw gives it to Miller. Fitzpatrick and Kilkowski sends it over. 
Miller up top. Someone's open. Fitzpatrick takes a shot. That goes wide and out of play. Kilkowski will put it back in. Still 37 seconds remaining in the Panthers' penalty. Owen Miller over for Fitzpatrick. Fakes the pass. Goes back up top to Miller again. Fitzpatrick down low. Kilkowski gets a shot away and a save made by Francisco. 22 seconds left in the Florida Tech penalty. Kilkowski now behind the net. Fitzpatrick gives it back to him. To the far side of the field. Miller up top. Fitzpatrick looked like he wanted to shoot. And there's a long shot. Hit the goal post. And they work it inside. And the shot goes out of play. The Panthers' penalty has expired. So they are back at full strength. Possession remains with the home team, however. They lead 10-5. to five. And that was our Hurst score at halftime. So scoreless here so far in the first almost four minutes. And down to the goal crease is a shot. He scores. Owen Miller. We don't get quite to the four-minute mark. 3.54 into the third quarter. Miller scores to make it 11-5. to five. As you see the replay here. And great patience by Miller for the unassisted goal. As he is the latest Spartan to join the scoring parade tonight. And that will be goal number 21 on the season for Owen Miller. And now the faceoff following his goal. That's controlled by Cooper Leonard. Florida Tech. Coming back down into the Spartans' end of the field. And they have it in front of the Spartans' sideline right now. Up top it goes for Griffin Martin. Martin into the corner. Martin trying to get around Jackson Day. And up top it goes... For Vreeland, over for Patrick Stewart. Back to Vreeland again. Vreeland sends a pass into the near corner. Nice spin move there by Rosgonyi. Pass in the middle. And great goal there. Colin Stewart. And worked awfully hard to get that one. Fought his way out of traffic. And you see the replay here as had at least two, if not three, defenders on him and beats Ulmer as the goaltender was going down. And it's back to a five-goal margin, 11-6, to 4.53 into this third quarter. Face-off at midfield. And a battle. Now the ball comes out, and it goes right into the stick of Radun for Florida Tech. Rosgonyi takes it behind the Spartans' net, being marked there by Brady Stoll. To the far sideline it goes, and now up top, Stetcher. Deplanke gives it back to Stetcher, and he wants to go one-on-one -on -one here against A.J. Pascarella. And opts to take it all the way into the corner. And looks to go one-on-one. -on -one. Pascarella stays with him. Comes out front. And Ulmer with the save. And handles the rebound. And now Blake will run it up himself. Ulmer stops on his own restraining line. And now sends a pass up ahead. And off to the races goes Ronan Sanchez. Quick passing. McEnany, that was knocked down. Good defensive play. For the Panthers, Sam Balch in particular. And here comes Florida Tech. Pass goes across midfield. Nick Canetti gives up the pass. 
And Rosgoni dishes it off toward the far sideline. Quickly it goes down into the Spartans' end of the field. And there's a pass, and oh, dropped. Noah Stetcher goes down, bounces back up, pass in the middle, all kinds of traffic. And now a whistle as Colin Stewart throws his hand up somewhat in frustration after he was taken down. His team will be given possession here. They trail by five with 8.10 to go in the third. Lozito. Oh, taken down by Jackson Day. Lozito pops back up and gives it to DePlanky. Pass sent back. For Pollock. And now to DePlanky. Pass down low. Opportunity in front. They score. Colin Stewart. And the Panthers hanging around. Make it a four goal game. And here's the replay. And you see him pop out front. As Rose Gagne gets the assist. And the Spartans go back to Hunter Turner for this faceoff. Our score now 11 to 7. As we have just passed the halfway point of the third quarter. That was Cooper Leonard for the Panthers on the draw. Spartans with possession. And a pass for McEnany. And now he just flips it, gets it right back. Now he sends it over to Kilkowski on the near side. Behind the Panthers' net it goes. Waiting patiently. And the Panthers' defense happy to leave Canyon Birch alone back there. As you see, it moved up top now for Charlie Bolesh. Sanchez. And to the far side of the field it goes as UT moves it in behind the Florida Tech net. Bolesh now. Bolesh on the run. And UT hold on in front. And no opportunity for a shot by Birch. Over it comes to Sanchez. Sanchez, some nifty footwork, has to back up though and give it to Bolesh. Shot clock at 15, and there's a shot, they score! A 12-7 Spartan lead with 6.14 to go in the third. As Canyon Birch gets his third goal of the game unassisted and Birch joins Harry Kilkowski with three goals each and Daniel Patrick leading the way with four Daniel Fitzpatrick as there's a loose ball and picked up for UT by AJ Pascarella McEnany fires it into the corner Kilkowski sends a pass across to Birch and way up top it comes. Fitzpatrick. Pass in behind the net. And again, Florida Tech. There's a collision. Birch out in front scores. Canyon Birch again. They left him all alone behind the net. And Birch takes advantage of it for an unassisted goal as it's a six-goal Spartans lead with just over five and a half to go in the third quarter. Kellen Hoke 
will come out to take this face off for the Spartans. And that's Jack Moranto for Florida Tech, and he is called for a faceoff violation. So the Spartans get the ball again. Over here it comes to McEnany, and now to Bombstad. Back to McEnany it goes. Luke on the run. Pass over to the other side. Comes back for Owen Miller. Miller a long shot, and Francisco got a piece of that one. Spartans get the rebound, though. And a collision, Canyon Birch leaves it behind the net. Birch calling for it, and instead they go out in front and score. Owen Miller, great passing from Harry Kilkowski. Canyon Birch thought that he was wide open, and instead Kilkowski distributes elsewhere, and you see the goal coming here as Owen Miller gets his second goal of the game. And Kilkowski now with a five-point night, three goals and two assists. And Kellen Hoke to do the honors for UT again on the faceoff. Pretty sure that's Cooper Leonard again for Florida Tech. Indeed it was, and Leonard able to corral it himself. Rasgonyi, up top it goes for Kennedy and gives it back to Rasgonyi. Sent over here on the near side to Planky. And Thomas Gribben watching him in the corner defensively. Pick there. Nice job by Cannon on the switch defensively. And the Panthers intercepted by UT. Here they come in transition. Dropped back for Day, and Jackson Day bobbled it. Luke McEnany there to back him up. Kilkowski now jogs it down into the corner. And Kilkowski tries to get past the defender. And some aggressive defense there. By Sam Balch. Up top it comes. And now Bombstad looking to go one on one. Bombstad gets around the defender, fakes the shot, and the pass was missed by McEnany. And chased down behind the net. Francisco, the goaltender, is one of the players back there trying to gain possession. That's loose on the far side. Francisco was able to get back into play, into position, and this is him. That will play it now. And pushes it up ahead to Riley Wagner. And here come the Panthers. Trailing by 7, 2.45 to go in the third. Chandler Hake. The pass over to the far side of the field it goes, and now up top, Vreeland over for Stetcher. Stetcher across the Tampa line, pass in the middle, and missed. And that one will roll all the way out of play, and the official over there signals possession for the Spartans. And the goaltender, Ulmer, brings this one up himself. Ulmer stops on his own restraining line. And over here now for Brady Soul. Up ahead it goes for Gunnar Geblin. And Owen Miller takes over. Miller a pass over. Fitzpatrick looks like he was going to take a long shot. Now stops, changes hands, and a save made by Francisco. The Spartans get the rebound. And Miller with it puts his head down for Bombstad. And loose ball picked up by Florida Tech. 
And here they go on the run. Wessel, pass up ahead, misses, and a loose ball. The Spartans pick that one up, and they'll go back the other way. For McEnany, pass over, shot taken, and Francisco saw that one off the stick of Kilkowski all the way. And picked up now by Wessel, crossing the Tampa line. 69 seconds to go in the third quarter. Up top with it is Rosgonyi. And now looking back toward his own sideline, Colin Stewart. And Stewart holding on to it. Being watched loosely there by Matthew Beto as the pass goes to the other side of the field. And the game clock and the shot clock are for all intents and purposes identical. There's a difference of about a half a second. And trailing by seven, I'm surprised to see Florida Tech, had they worked for a shot immediately, they could have given themselves a chance if they won the ensuing faceoff at two late goals in this quarter. And instead, you see the Spartans jarring the ball free. Keep in mind that just to tie the game, the Panthers need to score as many goals as they've scored the whole game thus far. There's an empty net. They do score. And it comes with eight seconds left in the third quarter. And again, had they worked a whole lot faster, they could have been trying for goal number nine before the third quarter ends. And could they get one in eight seconds? Probably. Are the odds with them? Probably not. And of course, it also hinges on this face-off. And the two participants race after it. As you see, Alex Poma go down. And hold on, now it's getting physical as the horn goes to end the third quarter. And a flag was, in fact, thrown. We'll give you what that penalty is when we come back on the other side of the break. You're watching lacrosse, men's, Tampa, Florida Tech. Back with more on tampaspartans.tv. And we are back, ready to start the fourth quarter. The penalty that was called at the end of the third quarter is going to be against Florida Tech. Cooper Leonard gets a 30-second penalty for pushing. And the Spartans, as a result, will start with the ball. And just like that, the fourth quarter is underway. Birch, Bashaw, Miller, quick passing by UT here. And there's a shot by Owen Miller. Another save for Jax Francisco, who has had a busy night. 
and the Florida Tech net. That's his 10th save of the game. Shots on goal are 24 to 12 in favor of UT. As you see, the Panthers score at the other end of the field, 46 seconds in. Razgany gets his fourth goal of the game. And tonight's lucky number is 14, as it's 14 to 9 UT with 14 14 left in quarter number four. And the faceoff controlled by the Panthers. That was Jack Moranto that took the faceoff. This is him with the ball. And now it goes out of play, and Colin Stewart of the Panthers looking a little disgusted at the outcome of that one. And Blake Ulmer, the Spartans goaltender, sends a pass across midfield. That's Owen Miller with it. Miller off to the races. Quick passing by the Spartans, and Canyon Birch was wide open calling for it. And Kilkowski looking for a pick from Birch and opts to give it to Canyon Birch. Birch, no shooting lane, returns it to Kilkowski behind the net. Kilkowski looking for an open teammate, decides to keep it himself and resets up top as Bomstad gives it to Miller. Birch now with the shot that goes out of play. Possession stays with the Spartans. Owen Miller. Back to Miller again. Miller takes a shot and Francisco Stops that one. Cross midfield it goes. Panthers trailing by five. Luke Pollock on the far side. This is Turpak. Let's pass over for Stetcher. And for a team that needs five goals just to tie it, I would expect to see a little bit more urgency to this Florida Tech team. As there's one kicked at and picked up by the Spartans. Thomas Gribben, pass up ahead, misses. And that'll be possessed by the Panthers. Possession to UT. The official right, right below the broadcast location was right there on the spot to call that one. Kilkowski takes it behind the Panthers' net. Sends it over to the far side. Up top it goes. And given now to Charlie Bolish. And he returns the pass to Bomstad. And here's Fitzpatrick now. To this side of the field it comes. Bolish tries to dance around the defender. Nifty little move. Doesn't have a lane to shoot. Might have it now and gets bumped off. Passes behind the net instead. Up top with it, Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick puts his shoulder down, has an opening, gets inside. And Fitzpatrick, looking around, I think he wanted a call. And meanwhile, Florida Tech sprinting back the other way. Colin Stewart sends it into the corner. And that's to Planky. Back to Stewart. Up top. 
It's Patrick Stewart. There's a long shot, they score. Lozito from way out beats Ulmer. And the Panthers draw within four with 10.05 to play here in the fourth quarter as you see the replay here. An unassisted goal as we'll have the faceoff now. Cooper Leonard for Florida Tech. And for the Spartans, that was Hunter Turner as it's possessed by the Spartans. Almer brings it up, stops at his own restraining line. Pass over for Brady Stoll. Stoll looking for an open teammate. Sends it way up ahead, intended for Sanchez and pulled down instead by Birch. Ronan Sanchez wants to shoot, loses it, and two of them chase it down. The Spartans get to it first. And now this is Gavin Bomstad for UT. For Nick Papa. Papa across the line into the corner. It goes now behind the Panthers' net to the other side to Birch. And Sanchez gave it to Bomstad and got it right back. Ronan Sanchez they pass it in behind the Panthers net. And unable to get a shot away, Nick Papa now goes into the corner. Seven seconds on the shot clock. And UT needs to get one off here. And there it is, off goal. So the shot clock will expire. And an opportunity now for Florida Tech to make this a three-goal deficit. They bring it up across their own line. And bobbled at midfield. And now corralled by Angler and a whistle, I believe. We are, in fact, going to get a timeout called by Florida Tech. We will take a timeout as well and be back with more lacrosse on TampaSpartans.tv. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Back live following the timeout by Panthers head coach Brad MacArthur. As Gary Lozito will put it into play for the Panthers. And does. Florida Tech has the only two goals of this quarter thus far. And there's a pass for Lozito to Planky weighing his options. 
Sends a pass into the corner. Patrick Stewart. Stewart. Comes all the way back up top. Sends it for DePlanky. Down behind the Spartans. And it goes five on the shot clock. And they're going to run out of time in real estate. And the shot clock expires. And the Spartans head back the other way. Thomas Gribben pushes it ahead. Canyon Birch fires it to Kilkowski now. Deep in behind the Panthers' net. Kilkowski waiting back there. And sends a pass over to the far side. And Matthew Beto comes off for UT. And out came Gavin Bomstad, and he sends it over for Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick on the run. Pass behind the net to Kilkowski. Oh, a collision in front as the pass missed. Pass had been intended for McEnany and he hit the turf. Play back the other way now as Florida Tech working here with only 6.18 to go in the fourth quarter, trailing by four. Turpak pass over. That's Pollock. Pollock runs out of room and sends it back up top. Turpak again. Over for Stetcher. Pass was deflected and chased down in time by DePlanky on the far side of the field. Still 30 seconds on the shot clock. And an opening. There's a shot taken by Pollock. Out of play. Florida Tech with 21 on the shot clock now. That was Hake. And they try to get the ball back to him. Shot clock is going to run out even if the Panthers do come up with the loose ball. And there it expires. And so the Spartans take over with 5.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. And Ulmer, the goaltender, holding it. And now a nice pass that connects with Owen Miller. Miller takes a shot, and it goes out of play. Harry Kilkowski will put it back in for UT. To the far side of the field, it goes to McEnany. And up top now, Bombstad. This is Luke Bullish. Excuse me, Charlie Bullish. Bullish on the run. Drops a pass back. Miller looked like he wanted to shoot. Bombstad turns the corner, takes a shot, and another save there for Jax Francisco and tries to cover it up in his own crease. Spartans try to take it away. And it's sent over now for Sam Balch. Here come the Panthers on the run. Shot and goes out of play off the stick of DePlanky. Time is pretty much a factor now. Four minutes left. Panthers still need four goals just to tie it. And they've had a couple of shot clock violations. To Planky. And there's a shot they score. Colin Stewart, his fourth goal of the game. And so Florida Tech makes it a three goal game with 340 to go here in the fourth quarter. And we're going to see Cooper Leonard out here for Florida Tech. 
going against Hunter Turner. And there's the faceoff. Turner wins it, gets it himself, and sends a pass into the corner for Canyon Birch. Birch gave it to Kilkowski, and there's nobody in a white jersey anywhere near the net. Spartans were making personnel changes. And Fitzpatrick sends it over for Bomstad. Behind the Panthers net it goes. This is Canyon Birch. Birch has four goals in this game. Fitzpatrick with it. Three minutes left exactly in the fourth quarter. And Fitzpatrick also has four goals. This is Owen Miller with it. Bomstad has a good look at the net, a bounce shot. That one's going to go off goal and out of play. Possession stays with UT. 27 remaining on the shot clock. And let's see if the Spartans shift into time management mode or if they stay on the attack and try to put this one out of reach. And hold on, a whistle there. Stopping play. And possession to UT. Daniel Fitzpatrick. On the far side. And cuts towards the net. Fitzpatrick goes down. And the shot was stopped by Francisco. There's a loose ball. A bunch of them battle for it. And coming out of the pack with it was the goaltender, Jax Francisco. And bringing it up, Balch for Florida Tech. Crosses midfield being, and a flag is thrown. We're going to have a call here against Canyon Birch, and he knows it. Florida Tech, chance to cut this to a two-goal deficit. And there's a shot taken by Colin Stewart, a whistle. Stops play with 91 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And this will open the door a little bit for Florida Tech as a penalty will be called against UT. And it should be Canyon Birch, I believe. Indeed. A one-minute slashing penalty against Birch. And so the Panthers will try to score quickly with the extra man here. And they put it back in from behind the Spartans' net in the far corner. Pass intended out front, missed, picked up. And it looked like Pollock wanted to take the long shot. Almer... Corrals that one, and Blake Ulmer is going to start to run it up himself. Now he outlets it over to Trajan Cannon, who missed. Loose ball, and Cannon able to pick it up. And off to the races he went. And Kilkowski sidestepped a nice defensive attempt by Sam Balch. Kilkowski way near the end line as it's sent over to the far side. And five seconds left in the penalty to Canyon Birch. This is Charlie Bolish getting in a late night run. And the penalty has expired. And Bolish will sleep good tonight. And so will his Spartans teammates as they are on their way to victory. As there's just 15 seconds left. And they will kill the remainder of the clock. As Owen Miller... Holds on to it, and the clock ticks down. Five seconds left. And the game is over. The Tampa Spartans defeat the Florida Tech Panthers 14 to 11. And the Spartans get back into the win column 
and they improve their overall one loss record to nine and two and equally important they go to three and one in conference play and in the meantime florida tech drops to an overall record of five and five they have lost three of their last four and in conference play they are now one and two the final shots on goal 26 to 17 in favor of the spartans the winning goaltender Blake Ulmer finishes with six saves for UT. And at the other end of the field, Jax Francisco takes the loss and makes 12 saves. The faceoffs were 14 14, but the Spartans just a little bit better, winning by a three goal margin. Thanks in part to a four-goal effort from Canyon Birch as well as Daniel Fitzpatrick. And a five-point night from Harry Kilkowski, who had three goals and two assists. In the losing cause, four goals each from Zach Rosgoni as well as Colin Stewart. But not enough as Florida Tech falls to UT. The Spartans' next game will be this coming Saturday when they travel over to Lakeland. To take on Florida Southern. And the next home game will be one week from tonight, an 8 p.m. start against St. Leo. For Andre Pryat. I'm Bruce Wozniak. Thanks so much for watching. Good night from Tampa.